Hey Railbirds, here we are at the 2023 Derby City Classic, the nine ball division. This is a round four match with Christina Zlativa and Jay Harris. That is Christina at the table racking now. I am being joined by the one, the only Mr. Mark White. How you doing, Mark? Good morning. Now this player racking the balls now, Christina Zlativa, the golden girl as I like to call her. Very, very good talent from Bulgaria and she's doing a lot of traveling around the States at the moment and she's really thrown everything into making this her career and she's doing very, very well. I mean, I've noticed her, she has improved so much over the last year and it's all to do with traveling and playing against all the guys, in my opinion, and she's up against one here now, Jay Harris. And it looks like she's favorite, Kevin. So here we go. Rack number one. Yeah, I've actually done some commentary with her as well, and she's uh, her English is great. She's well liked by all the ladies on the tour, and one of her best friends, who she spends a lot of time with and playing a lot, is Roberto Gomez, Superman. So let's see if we can get a superwoman performance from Christina today. And she's heavy favourite, as you can see, in the the percentages at the bottom. Switch into right-handed there, look, you might notice. Very confident young lady. She's nicknamed, and she'll hate me for saying this, she's nicknamed the general on the ladies' tour. And it's because she always... Oh, no, sorry, the director, not the general, the director. Because she always likes to direct everyone and tell everyone where to be at what time. And <laughs> that's it. She won't commentate with me anymore. All right, so safety from Christina. Looks like she's left a window for Jay. Good hit by Jay. Is he going to get past that side pocket? Yes, he is, but unfortunately, he has left a nice shot for Christina to start with. Yeah, being a left-hander as well, this is the perfect side of the table. Maybe can use... Maybe she can use the four ball to draw off here. Looks, looks like it's on. Draw off the four ball, past the the seven, up towards the two. Here we go. Big shot. Low left on the cue ball. Wow, she got in between the gap. I don't know how she done that. I'm not sure she played it like that. Nicely done. Regardless, nice result. Yeah, perfect on the two. Nice angle can go low left on this again draw it back towards this left hand rail where her bridge hand is it's okay I think the four passes the six into the same pocket nice confident start I know her mum likes to watch her as well, Maria. Hi, Maria. Actually met them both in Puerto Rico. I thought she might uh, roll this, maybe bump to seven, but she didn't want to mess with that at all. She's perfectly confident with a longer shot on the four. Yeah, typical left-hander. Very talented I always think that left-handers have got that little bit more flair shall we say something to do with the, the side of the brain we use I'm a lefty as well I'm not saying I've got talent I'm just you know, <laughs> in general I'm the exception to the rule oh. oh yeah now the jump stick will be coming straight out she's very competent with the jump stick oh but jump sticks aren't allowed I've just remembered yeah, it's because I didn't go through the rules uh, of the nine ball here at Derby City. So jump cues not allowed. You are allowed to jump, but you must use a full plane cue. Nine ball is wrecked on the spot, and they are breaking from the break box. And three foul rule is in effect. 
All right, ball in hand for Jay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of. I know it's a, it's an American thing, and I'm not having a go. I just don't like it when players are playing in a, you know, like a. It, this is a pro tournament. It's got lots of history, and I don't like seeing people playing baseball caps. Just me. I don't like it. Just a personal thing. How do you feel about that, Jay? Um, should they wear football helmets instead? <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people like the visor, you know, it keeps the, you know, from the overhead lights, you know, it keeps the light out of their eyes. A lot of people like that. Yeah, I didn't think of it like that. Good point. Line this up dead straight. I guess he's planning on just shooting a stop shot. Is he going to try to draw back between? Okay, he's trying to draw back between. Just caught the seven. Great tournament, of course, steeped in history. As you hear yeah. a little announcement going on for outer tables. Yeah, Derby City Classic's been going on for over 20 years. They are just busting out at the seams. They are getting bigger every year. Yeah, well, I had the pleasure of commentating on Ephraim Reyes the other day. Previous winner of this, of course, back in 2005. He won it for the first time, the nine ball event. He actually won the overall all around as well that year. Very nice. First, first ever winner, Troy Frank. Do you remember him back in 1999? Remember who? Troy Frank. No, does not ring a bell. No, not with me either. So, go back to that a little bit later. Previous winners as Christina racks the balls. So there's one thing the I just round. one thing I just learned this year that I didn't know about the Derby City Classic. If you win the uh, Master of the Table, also known as the All Around, you are automatically. Uh, Enrolled for life. You you get your entry fees paid for every event in the future, and you get a free hotel room here at the Caesar Southern Indiana for life. Well, that's interesting because I thought it was only the following year, but that must be for the champion of each event, and then of course for the overall. Wow, that's that's worth winning, isn't it? It is worth winning. I do love my history. Winners of the overall, Ephraim Reyes, D. Adkins won it back in 2000. This is the overall I'm talking about. Shannon Dalton. Jose Perica, of course, the legend. Ephraim Reyes has won it a few times. Well, he's got about five lifetimes of free membership, <laughs> he has. It's because they want to keep these great players coming back all the time. That's why they offer it for them. Shane Van Boning, twice in two years Alex Pagulian done the same Fedor Gorse done the same as well so lots and lots of history lots of great players a fabulous tournament so let's have a look at Jay Harris yeah just Unfortunately, catching the long yeah, ball. Ended up a little close to his work. He's got no to shot. think about the safety here. I think you can just thin off the left side of that four, send that cue ball up near that top rail up top there, leaving, trying to leave the four ball hooked. And you, even if you don't leave it snookered, you still leaving long distance. Yeah, 
he did have another option of coming back behind and playing the carom on the seven and get the hook behind the five, but that's just as good. Well played. Yeah, this this works. Could be in trouble here himself though if Christina can stick this cue ball, kick and stick it behind the eight, send the four around the table and get the hook behind the eight. Oh, she hasn't hit this hard enough. Oh, she might get it behind the nine. No. Hasn't left a shot, though. Might see that cue ball heading up behind the six this time. Another interesting little fact, actually, Kevin, about yeah. the Derby City Classic, which I've been doing some research as well, you know. You're not the only one that's had the old Google <laughs> in action. The The actual tables that they're playing on now, the Diamonds, were a product of the actual Derby City Classic. They were intentionally made in the first place for this particular event because they couldn't get enough tables. So they decided to produce their own. And wow, what a shot. Because of this event. And that was a great shot. Because of this event, the diamond table was born. Not not hundred percent convinced he played that, but Unfortunately he was not able to put that five ball down on the next shot. Christina to the table with a combination if she wants to go for it. Not not easy and you risk not having a shot even if you do make it. Was she, well, was, she taking, she played there. was she taking a swing at the nine? I think she might have been. It was a bit of a, a rash shot, shall we say. And, you know, maybe that's because she's looked at her opponent and thought, well, he's not really on his top form. So I'm going to have a go. That's possible. Really nice run there of the ball. Got to be careful here, it doesn't come off the back of it. Like that. You called exactly it. Exactly like that. Yeah, I see it so often, Kevin. For if you catch them just wrong, it's on. Yep, yeah, we've all done that. More than once. Ball in hand for Christina. Shouldn't be any problems with these last three balls as long as she doesn't go and do something silly. Uh oh, I may have spoken too soon. Like, did she do something silly? Well, she did. Well, she might just be okay. Overran that. I think she's worried about getting stuck behind the nine and came the other way. I Very think it does cut, cut in the side. It's a thin one. She's lining it up. Checking the tangent angle, seeing where the cue ball's going. Yeah, no shot clock in use. I was actually watching one of the ladies' events 
earlier on and they were using a 40 second shot clock Kevin and then if the match went hill hill they got two extensions in the deciding rack which I thought was quite a good idea actually and played that well oh, this is a tricky little nine though close to the rail yeah she's not out of the woods yet Handles it. Oh, nice stroke. Two Takes zero it. then. Christina Glateva, sponsored by Mez Cues. I would normally like to stay on this camera angle, but this camera's kind of freaking out a little bit. I was going to say, you haven't <laughs> been at the old um, fireballs already, Kevin, have you? <laughs> no, but I may have been drinking a scotch, you know, s sipping on a scotch or two. Ah. I've always thought fireball would be a great sponsor for Paul, actually. Here we go. In control at the moment. Wow, she's lost the cue ball. The guy on the announcing microphone seems to have been on something as well. I mean, he's talking a lot more than usual, isn't he, today? He's getting <laughs> a taste for the stardom. <laughs> All right, ball in hand, Jay Harris. Yeah, nicely on the two. Just a little draw, just a soft draw. Hold the cue ball. Nicely done. Uh, if he's if he's dead straight on this three, he may have to just roll forward for short side on the five. I think he's got just the slightest of angles, although he's going high, as you say, so he must be straight. He did have a slight angle because he was able to go to yeah. the rail. Yeah, I thought he would have stunned that over, to be honest, but he's all right. He's still got a shot on it, but it makes it difficult to get onto the six. Might end up shooting the six nine. Yeah, that does look... Uh... Pretty juicy. Just have to get that cue ball over near that seven somewhere. Nice Shh. shot. Where's oh, the got cue a bit ball? of unwanted English though. Had a slight bit of left hand spin on that one, Kevin, didn't he? And just drew it back down the wrong side. Yeah. Just judge that one. Does Christina shoot the combo, or does she run these out? Yeah, I mean, if it's wired like it looks, it why not? Almost unmissable, isn't it? <laughs> I would never call a shot unmissable. She handles it with it ease. Goes. I was Three. playing in a nine ball tournament the other night and I had ball in hand and I was lining one up like that. Not quite as easy as that, but I was lining it up and I missed the nine completely with the, I think it was the four ball I was playing onto it and I missed the nine completely <laughs> and fluked, fluked the bank on the four in the, in the side and just, you know, nonchalantly walked around and made out that was the shot I played. Although I did spend about five minutes lining it up <laughs> with the nine. <laughs> so they might not have been buying your story? <laughs> I don't think so. 
Uh, it's on YouTube actually for for all to see, as are these matches that we're doing here, all available on Railbirds TV. All the nine ball action from the 2023 Derby City Classic. While you're checking out those videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe if you are so inclined. We'd appreciate it. Thank you. Well, nice safety here on the one ball after that dry break from Christina. I think he might have been going for that. How did he get through all those balls without uh, hitting any of them? I don't know, but the chances <laughs> of him doing that again are very, very remote. A little bit of an awkward table, this. All over the, the bottom half as we look here. Over the left-hand side of the table. Coming behind the five ball. Nothing too... Well... Didn't get there. Put all her faith in getting behind that five. Wasn't really worried about the one ball. Might just thin it off this now. He's going the other way. Trying to keep the cue ball over that side behind the eight ball. We'll be sending the one ball though towards that top right as we look oh he went for the combo so you're gonna get the safety nope no he hasn't I think he's come to attack Kevin I don't think he's interested in safety I think you are right if he's going out if he's going down, he's going down fighting. He's going in a blaze of glory. Hmm. Why not? Gonna go out swinging. Sounds like they're having a good time over on that uh, other table, though. Yeah, can't we stick the camera over on that one? It sounds a lot more fun. <laughs> Hacky stats might uh, take issue with that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I think uh, Christina is taking issue with uh, the skew ball placement. Yeah, just hey. safety. She's just letting her cue ball run away at the moment. She has left a shot. A lot of distance, but the two is close to the pocket, which does help. Christina, semi-finalist in the Women's Las Vegas Open. Did you commentate that match? I, uh, I think I did actually, yes. Yeah, she should have won it as well. Ended up being beaten by Bean Hung, who then herself lost in the final to Seo Seo from Korea. Did she get a hug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was trying to avoid that particular. What? I'm, I'm just subject. asking. I'm just. I'm just. But, uh, yeah. I'm not referring to anybody in particular. <laughs> She, she did get a hug, actually, yes. Been hunged her. Hmm. Terrible pun, even for me. 
Can we edit yeah. that one out, please? <laughs> I don't want that one going down on record. I'm making a sound bite out of that one. What do you mean? <laughs> She did leave just enough for him to be able to get out with that cue ball. He's in nice shape on this four. Just slightly awkward cueing. He's very close to this cue ball with his hand. Just stunts the, the stroke slightly. There, he saw it, but it's okay. Yeah, he's let the cue ball get away a little bit. I'm wondering, can he draw past this or can he just run it in past the six? Oh, oh he's made the nine. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, that may uh, hinder access to the seven a little bit here. Yeah, I think he's going to have to play the combo. Yeah, he'll be forced to play the combination. So this for the first rack on the board. I would definitely not call this one unmissable. This this can definitely be missed. I've missed these. But Jay does not. On the scoreboard. Three to one. Race to nine. Yeah, nicely done. Almost fluked the nine ball when he played that five. There you see him placed in the the Accurac from Outsville. Very, very good rack. Best in the business, in my opinion. They come in eight ball, nine ball, ten ball. And a multi purpose rack. Very versatile indeed. Well, I feel honored, Kevin, that you've put my name before yours Mark White and Kevin Ross, not Kevin Ross. Featuring Mark White. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> we roll out the red carpet for you, Mark. Now, you're, you you're, you're a celebrity. You're a celebrity now. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank somebody, actually, if I may. A guy sure. called Jay Garrison. You mentioned earlier on that um, you're going to clip that little piece and make a, <laughs> a little, you know, what do you call it? A little montage, maybe my best and worst bits. The, the worst bits will be much longer than the best bits, trust me. But it was a <laughs> guy called Jay Garrison from Level 2 Billiards who actually once made a little montage, clipped all my best and worst bits and put them together and put it on his uh, Instagram page which had uh, over a million followers and that could be a big reason and I always put it down to that being a big reason why people started asking me to commentate in the States and it's all because of Jay Garrison so you know good things come out of bad things sometimes no such thing as bad press All right, set him solid. He's made two on the break, maybe wow. three. Nope, just two. Look at the four ball. Yeah, that two four has tied up a little. I wonder if he can make this though. Might be able to make this into a combo. He's close. His gap between them as well is possible. Oh, he's on the one ball, yeah. So yep. get a decent position on this two. Oh, he's missed it. Concentrating on getting that cue ball where he wanted. He forgot to pot the one ball. Don't forget to pot the one. 
Yeah, that's uh, rule number one. Yeah, make the ball. Or pot the ball. Don't forget rule number one. So there is enough distance between the two and the four. You can manipulate that angle a bit. So this combination does play. Nice position. Yeah, certainly got close to it. And the way she's got to play this, the two ball is going to be going over towards... Well, it might hit the nine. Might slip past the nine and go towards that four ball. It's all about controlling that two ball now. Well, nowhere near. Got lucky though. I don't know why she chose to play safe there. I thought she was going to go for the combination. <laughs> Played it two way, of course. Yeah. Naturally. Jay has a chance to pocket this ball. I'd rather go two rails at this. Just misses the hit. Ball in hand for Christina. And these are all nicely out in the open. Five to the seven could be a little tricky. Yeah, never nice when the object ball is so deep into the pocket, but at least the seven is quite close in proximity to the five, so... I like getting to the bottom rail on hit this one, Kevin. I think it's easier to play off the five when you're close to this back rail. Looks like Christina agrees with you. Yeah, it's a much better way. You're going towards the seven then rather than away and then back towards it. Nicely judged, just play a nice little stop shot on this now if she's straight. Although she's looking as if she's going to run this cue ball through to leave the eight in the side from the way she looked. Now she's following. No problem. Still came up a hair short. Going to have to move this cue ball quite a bit. She loves to hit the ball, Christina. She draw this round off two rails, maybe. Just the one. All right, a bit of a tester. Center of the pocket, never, never a doubt. One, race to nine. Yeah, reigning champion, of course, from 2022, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. And it was this tournament that really started that incredible run that Francisco is on at the moment. He's now world number one. Reigning US Open. Nine ball champion. Reigning eight ball world champion. Reigning nine ball world champion. Man. Overachiever. Doubles world champion with David Alcady. And more recently, Matchroom PLP champion. Made <coughs> over... $262,000.
in 2022-23 so far. And Amazing. also AZ, AZ Billiards Player of the Year. Sorry, Kevin. There was just so much to get out there. I, I just wanted to do it all in one go. <laughs> Players Terrific are on break. By... We'll be right back. All right, players are back for break. Christina with the break. So you mentioned Francisco Sanchez Ruiz uh, and David Alcady, you know, as a. Uh, how would you like to play a doubles match against them? Wow, I, I don't, I don't think I would, I would like that. I played a doubles match at this very tournament in 20 last year, actually, with um, it was myself and a guy called Matt Ross and Heath Manning, who is big in diamond tables, of course, in Canada. And his partner was David Alcady. But I'd rather play Heath and David than Sanchez Ruiz and David, trust me. <laughs> right. You're gonna get At around least this I got too. a shot when I was following. <laughs> oh, this turned out okay. It wasn't her plan, but it'll work. Yeah, four one in a race to nine, well on her way. As you can see from the percentages, ninety nine percent sure of winning this one according to the stats yeah, just a little bit off at the moment Christina she's not firing on all cylinders I would say this is a fourth round match though Christina <clears throat> does have one loss. Jay has zero losses in this fourth round match. A very unique format as well, isn't it? This Derby City Classic gives you, it's not double elimination, but it gives you a buyback. Yeah, they call it a single elimination with a, with a buyback. You can have, yeah, you get up to one buyback. Can't just keep rebuying. It would never end, would it, <laughs> if that was the case? <laughs> Eventually, someone's got to run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, every round, it's a new draw. So, you can get players... Uh, with zero losses, playing against a player with one loss, so it's not like you have a, a an A side and a B side of a bracket. Uh, you, you know, so it's not like a double elimination tournament like that. So this that's how you can end up with a player with zero losses in the fourth round playing a player with one loss in the fourth round. Yeah, good point. Nicely stroked in. She did she hit it hard Just enough? Looking on the long four. Now then, will she just draw past the eight ball? Aiming low. Aiming low. Carbon makes... fiber do its thing. Wow, oh, nice. nicely dragged in. Yeah, I was about to say, aiming low on that shot is going to make this shot more difficult. I would thinking, I was thinking she was just going to roll it. But she hit that very nice. Yeah, it's a shot that a lot of the players are using now. It's sort of that drag shot where it allows right. you to still put pace into the cue ball, but you're not hitting the cue ball hard. It's always slowing down. It's like a like a very slow draw shot, you know? Beautiful shot. It came from snooker where 
you know, they've got balls near pockets and they're going full length of the table, but they don't want to trust rolling the cue ball over that distance. So it allows them to hit with that little bit more pace. Very useful shot. Yeah, very important to have that in your arsenal. And there's two shots which tell you you're queuing well. It's the little stun follows and those drag shots. If you're queuing well, then, you know, you're making them shots sweetly. This nine ball then to go five one ahead. She does. On that shot there, I I noticed that she puts the cue stick right under the center of her face. Most most players will put the cue stick under their dominant eye. There are very few players that put the cue stick right down the middle. Uh, Lori John Jones uh, is is one famous example who does put the cue stick right under the center of their face, and uh, and now Christina Zatiba does as well. Yeah, it's a, it's certainly a sluker thing, but now with the introduction of a of a coaching method called sight right, it's all about the dominant eye, and you're seeing a lot more players now using that dominant eye, as you just mentioned, for aiming. But when you play snooker, which actually, incidentally. Christina Zlatova is also a women's snooker champion of Bulgaria as well. Ah. A good friend of mine, a, a player himself, Elliot Sanderson, who's very, very good friends with Jason Shaw. He actually manages or is the resident pro at McGoldrick's, which is a pool hall in Glasgow in Scotland, owned by Jason Shaw's sister, Natasha, and her husband. And Elliot is the resident coach there, and he actually teaches the sight right method, which was invented by a guy called Stephen Feeney from England. And a lot of the top snooker pros have used it. And now a lot of pool pros are getting into it as well. And I know Jason Shaw recently had a little coaching session using Sight Right. Oh, what a nice kick. N no well, reward. He sight sighted that one right, didn't he? That's unlucky. He's in a bit of trouble here. We see a nice kick shot. I'm sure he didn't expect to make it. You can see him looking at the three balls like, huh, I, mean, I know I'm not going to like this. <laughs> that sad moment of realization when you know you're going to be hooked. Oh, this is a nice shot as well. Oh, I thought it had a chance to go. Now he decided to play safe on it, Kevin. Expert level. Kick shot Efren would be proud of. Yeah, very nice. Forever captured on the the internet. Yeah, I'm not even sure how you play yeah, safe here. Yeah, I mean, how do you get cover here? You might be able to get up behind the eight ball here, but it's where's the three ball going? You need to send the three over behind the nine, kind of. Oh, she's looking at kicking this from behind. I don't like this. I don't like any of it. With danger. <clears throat> Rocked with peril, as Grady Matthews used to say. 
Yeah, this is horrible, isn't it? She's got to get the cue stick out of the way very quickly here as well. And she's playing it right-handed. Oh, that's and a good... She miscued as well. It looked like yeah, a good hit she... unless she double hit it. No, I think it came back off the rail and hit her tip again, Kevin. As a player, you know that, don't you? You feel it rather than see it. So she obviously felt it came back and hit her tip again. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, there that's definitely a double hit. Yeah, yeah double hit. Double hit. <laughs> Boom. There you go. And it was no rail as well thrown in as well. How about that? That should be two shots. I thought she got a rail. I thought oh, the cue ball. I thought the cue ball got the rail after that double hit. So it was only oh, one yes. foul. <laughs> only one foul. <laughs> I think he's got the angle to stun off the side route for the five into the same pocket. She Rocked it to stun. Managed it. Rocked it to sleep, as Sherry likes to say. There you see how close the tables are here at the Derby City. They put them closer the if they the could. Table. <laughs> they are busting out at the seams. They'd put them closer if they could, if they could squeeze in more tables. How many tables do they have there, do you know? I'm guessing 30? Or is um, it more? Thought it was closer to forty, but uh, it might not be that many. Maybe it is closer to thirty. It's somewhere in that ballpark. He's overdone this. He's overcooked that one. Got a shot of this eight ball though in the side. And nice what a great thing. shot that was as well. Played with great confidence. I can't tell you how difficult that shot was. Off the rail, almost straight, into a side pocket. Great that shot. A, that was a great shot. All right, come on, Jay. Bear down on this one. Put it away. Whew. Yeah, in it goes. Cue ball. It's okay. It's 5-2. Jay putting up a fight. Yeah, there aren't even any tournament brackets online, so I can't look and see how many tables they have. I'm trying to remember from memory. I think it's something like 18 downstairs. And you've got a couple of rooms upstairs as well. It's uh, it's twenty three. It's not far. It's twenty three downstairs. That much I do know. Oh, it's twenty three downstairs. So we're well over thirty. Then probably closer to forty, Kevin. Yeah, but they don't have as much room upstairs as they do downstairs. So I don't know. Somewhere between thirty and forty. There you see Jay breaking off from the, the break box, which is a line drawn straight from that diamond on that back rail where his cue is over. And if you imagine a piece of string going to the centre of the spot where the one is, where that point re meets the kitchen line, that's where the box is and the same the other side.
just a bit inaccurate there on the one ball came off the side of it and top on the cue ball as well you're looking to draw to the side rail off of that cut break trying to make the one in the side so <clears throat> explain the push out for us Kevin the first shot after the break you are allowed to don't have to make contact with the lowest numbered ball you can shoot the cue ball anywhere on the table except for into the pockets and the other player has the option to accept the table as it is or to pass it back to you and you only get to do that on the first shot after the break. You can't do that any time you want. This is the only time you get to do that. And uh, she's probably going to get this back, but it looks like a kick safe is possible here. I, I would have at least... That cue ball. If I was Jay, I would have at least walked down to this end of the table where the cue ball is before making that decision. Yeah, it was quite an easy kick, wasn't it? And she had a good chance of getting it safe, but looks like he's made the right decision. He's got to look at this one ball now, and this does go into the bottom right-hand corner. It's the kind of chance that he needs to start taking if he's going to claw his way back into this match. All right, that was a nice shot. He's going to have to come with another nice shot. Got to be careful, doesn't hook himself behind the eight and the nine here. Slide this down the rail. Decent chance now for the Bulgarian. I wonder if she played in the bank pool event. If she did, this probably looks like a hanger to her. Well, that nine didn't ball. count in the bank pool, but it counts in nine pool. <laughs> you beat me to it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've got to get in quick if I want to get in ahead <laughs> of you, Kevin. <laughs> Christina, one of the few players that doesn't have an extension for her cue. Yeah, and she's quite adept at using the, the rest, as it's called, in snooker, because she's played a lot of snooker, and she's not the tallest of young ladies, so she'll have got lots of experience using the bridge. I don't care how tall you are. If you play a lot of snooker, you're going to be using the uh, bridge or the rest quite a bit. On a 12-foot table, there's just no getting around it. Yeah, that's why Alex Pagulain is so good with it. I mean, he's short for a pool player. Imagine being a snooker player like he is. Alex is short, but he can reach balls that taller players have problems reaching. I don't know how he does it. It's very stretchy, I guess. <laughs> Either that or he wears high heels when he plays. All right, Christina in nice line here. Good position to extend her lead. Just draw back out for the I seven in the side. I think you mentioned earlier on, Kevin, about Christina being 19 years old. I mean, I think you've got a friend for life in Christina because she's actually 29 years old. She just looks very young for her age. I guess you can't trust everything you see on the Google. <laughs> Is that what it said on Google? Well, I'm not trusting it anymore. No, I wouldn't trust that. Born in 1993, 16th of July, 19, 
93. She oh, was that born. definitely makes her 29 and not 19. You're right about that. I'll tell her you said that, though. And she's from a beautiful city called Sofia in Bulgaria. Very nice part of the world. I will say she does look closer to 19 than 29. I will say that. I agree. Good lead as well, two thirds of the way to the winning post. Race to nine, of course. And the Fargo is living up to the great name that it's got across the world an accurate system of handicapping players. Not that this is handicapped, it's just for fun, of course. The the Fargo rate system and the the TPA as it's called. I don't want to get in trouble with AccuStats, so we shouldn't call it TPA because that's uh, an AccuStats term. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them getting mad at me. And we're very fortunate to be able to bring you these nine ball matches. Also some one pocket. And Are you doing bank pool as well, Kevin? We do have some uh, bank pool matches from the Derby City Classic already on our channel with more to come. Yeah, and don't worry, it's not... Kevin and I that are doing the commentary for the one pocket. It's the great Scott Frost, the freezer himself, keeping things cool for you on the one pocket. Now check out the Railbirds TV. Huh. See YouTube what you did page. there. Just squeezes that two ball past. Nice shot. If he's looking to play this uh, five in the side, he'd like that cue ball to be like right around where that nine is, but that nine ball is kind of taking up some valuable real estate. And you, uh, I was about to say, because that's where you want the cue ball to be, <laughs> that nine ball might, uh, might come into play. Yeah, nice call. And literally just replaced the nine ball with the cue ball, left him perfect on this five ball. Well, won't be very happy with that, though. Slightly the wrong side of this six ball would have liked to have been just a couple of inches to the left of where it is now. The good news is the seven does pass the nine, so he can draw back just a few inches and shoot the seven to the corner. Really is a game of fractions. Might be going high right here. No, he's not. Just taking the longer seven. Be bridging over the eight, so that could come into play here. That could interfere with him a little bit. It's just one of them situations where it's getting slightly worse each shot, isn't it? When you haven't got that cue ball on a string, but he's okay now. Just has to avoid the middle pocket with the cue ball here. Don't try and get too close to this nine ball. Tendency is you play low right on these. And if you don't get it enough or a little bit too much, you can lose the cue ball in the side. But he didn't get too much. Played it okay. Took the longer nine. 
Well, this is a real test to Kevin. How would you like this to win a world title? Um, could be worse. <laughs> Just uh, close your eyes and whack it. Some top class, some cl top class <laughs> coaching there from Kevin Ross. Close your eyes and whack it. <laughs> what? That's not what that you're that supposed Ross. to. That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I don't remember hearing Scott was... Frost say that in, in any of his commentary. You are right. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was a that was a tip from Kevin Ross. That wasn't me, Mark White. That was Kevin <laughs> Ross saying that particular piece of coaching advice. Well, you're going to be lining up for my coaching school now. I can tell with that with that with that endorsement. Stick by the phone. It's going to be hot. Talking about previous winners, let's just go back from Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Of course, he won this in 2022. There was no one held, no one held the title in 2021 because of COVID. And then 2020, Lee Van Cortez. The year before that, Skylar Woodward won the nine ball. Guess who won the banks in that particular year? Had was a guess, it? Uh, was it Billy Thorpe? It was Billy Thorpe. And in the nine ball the year before, Chris Mellin, then uh, Dennis Colo before him, Shane Van Bonin, Warren Kiamko, Shane Van Bonin again, Paggy Lyon, Shane Van Bonin again. Oh, that, so Van Bonin another has had an unbelievable run in this. Another overachiever. I think uh, Christina is on break, so we'll be right back. Here's her back from break. Jay with the break. Trail 6-3. This race to 9. 9 ball? Nope. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Dry break. Yeah, 9 ball was certainly moving off that one, wasn't it? It got some distance. 4 ball comes up and gives it a good smack. Yeah, sometimes you see that 9 ball being kicked in to the side pocket. It was kicked up towards the top left then. So good start here from Christina. Come two rails coming towards the three ball off that second rail. A little bit of high right. Just like so. And nicely done. Might have to come just by the cent by by the the one spot I hear I think. Just get it cue ball by that spot. Oh she could come round two rows even better. Very nice, nice. Nice little angle to get the cue ball off the rail for the five next after the four. Six ball might be a bit of an issue since it doesn't pass the nine or the seven. Christina, one of the pros that are starting to make waves. I mentioned before that she got to the semi final of the recent Las Vegas Women's Open tournament. But a few ladies still refusing to hang the cues up and go away. Alison Fisher, Jasmine Ocean, Kelly Fisher, still very much the top ladies in the world. Wei Tzu Chen, of course, has come back after the COVID break. She's started to travel again. Yeah, Alison Fisher kind of took some time off for a while, and now she's come back as strong as ever. Nice cue ball. Yeah, and it goes to show, doesn't it, that solid foundations, Kevin, and they last 
a very, yeah. very long time. And Allison's foundation and fundamentals are, well, perfect. Yeah, I'd go as far to say the best in the game. I can't argue with that. Of course, being away from the sport for such a long time, you mentioned that she took a bit of a hiatus from the from the sport, spent time with family and her wife. So a little bit ring rusty, I think, is a correct term to use. <laughs> Already, though, reached a couple of finals. And she's well on her way back to gaining that confidence and growing in confidence is this young lady, Christina Zlatava, 7-3 now, to be required. It's a nice run there from Jay's dry break. It's worth mentioning the break as well. I think, Kevin, it's, it's the one that Match Room are using now. Also, it's breaking from the box. It's nine on the spot. And I know in America, you've used one on the spot for many, many years. But in Europe, it's been nine on the spot for quite some time. But now with the break box as well introduced, it's made the break that little bit more difficult. It's certainly made the game more interesting, more exciting. And we get to see more safeties and little clusters. You know, I think it's much better than just seeing players monotonously making mm. that one, you know, the, the yeah. one or the corner or the wing ball and then running out rack after rack. So I think I like, actually like it. Yeah, because with the racking the one on the spot and being able to break from anywhere, you know, they would make the wing ball into the corner pocket and they would play position on the one and they would control it very well uh, and and run out and it was becoming boring for the spectators. Now, with the nine on the spot, with the cut break that everyone is going with, yeah, they're making the one in the side pretty often, but that means you can't play position on the next ball because the next ball is a two, and the two is, you know, racked randomly, so it's you, you can't be playing position on the two every time, so that adds that luck back into the break, which makes it more exciting, more unpredictable. Yeah, very famously, I... I remember Jason Shaw making the journey from his pool room in Connecticut to an event in Europe and he turned up, he was playing Mirsko Fortunski. Mirsko Fortunski won the lag and won the match without Jason getting another shot. And that was kind of the beginning of the end of that one on the spot breaking from anywhere. And it's done wonders for the sport, in my opinion. I would have liked to have seen that match. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Obviously not what she was well, playing, that... but... <laughs> yeah, played safe. There's no safer place for the one ball than in the pocket. Yep, uh, Jay's not going to be able to hit that one now. Now without scratching, he can't. Yeah, she caught it a little bit thick, didn't she? That one ball. Didn't expect it to go anywhere near. That side pocket was probably playing it into the nine and the five. All right, she just tried to cross the two, trying to bring the cue ball down tables, trying to play safe, and has left Jay a shot. But getting back to this three is going to be a real problem. With that cue ball on the rail, you can't really put any draw on this. He's got, uh, he's got some figuring to do. Yeah, I wonder, can he just slide past the eight here and come round three, maybe four rails for the three into this bottom right as we look? Oh, unlucky. Wanted to hit just before the side pocket, hit just after it. And look at that. How's your luck, Jay? How's your luck? Hmm. <laughs>
Wow. Let's <laughs> misjudge that a Made bit. Made the three, but it was a foul. Slight miscalculation there in the angles. Gives Christina ball in hand. And is this going to be another short rack with that 5 9? Don't it's think not. So. It's not straight. It, she would have to cut it a little. I don't think it passes the seven, does it, Kevin? I think it does. Does it pass the seven? Oh, I okay. Think, I think it does. Now, I'm not sure whether she was trying to come across for this, but she's playing it. She's looking at it. Not easy from there, though, is it? Wonder will she just slide the five past the nine? Can she hold behind the nine? She's going for it, I think. No, she's not. She's going to go for the safety. Yeah, right? or is she going to cut it into bottom right? I'm going to call all the shots. <laughs> one of them is going to be it's, right. It's one of them. And watch, she'll just bank the five to that upper right corner just to come up with the solution <laughs> that you didn't call. <laughs> Doesn't look like the safety is on. It looks like actually it looks like she's cutting the five, doesn't it? I don't really know what she ended up playing there. Sort of a, a nothing shot in the end. Might have even been playing the seven. Now will he bank this? Billy thought would. Bank him Billy. Get up there, pew ball. Oh, oh, no. Once again, he's having a torrid time, isn't he, with these hooks after making a ball. But he did it to himself. And he had so much top on that cue ball, it became bottom as it came off of that rail and slowed it right up. Almost the top stun, as we call it. That's what Danny DiLiberto used to call the high karate. That sounds even better. <laughs> that was also the name of a very, very bad, but very, very popular men's perfume back in the 1970s. The... High karate. Yep. Oh, so close. Might even have been Raquel Welsh as the star of that TV commercial. Recently departed, of course, the lovely Raquel Welsh. You never know what you might hear, Kevin, when I'm commentating. <laughs> Uh, is she going to come two rails around for the eight in the side? Yep, that's what she's doing. The question, once again. the question here, is she going to go high right or left spin and go three rails around? Option A, high right. I call that the high karate. <laughs> There's another Reddit for you. You're not charging me extra for these jokes, are you? <laughs> Christina on then. the hill. Yeah, and overall deserved that lead. Jay has struggled with positioning of the cue ball. He's made some nice, nice balls throughout the match. Made a couple of good kick shots, but overall, the score line doesn't lie. Breaking off for the match and a place 
in the fifth round. Good performance here for Christina in a in the lion's den, as you could call it. Mainly men, of course. Yeah, a little bit soft that break, I feel. Yeah, all of Christina's breaks have been a little on the soft side. She doesn't break them real hard. You're going for accuracy, isn't she? More than power, trying to make that one ball almost made the four. And a shot on the one ball now. For Jay. Little bit of a snatchy stroke there. He had good it's position on the two. Easy, Might have a go at this. No, nope, not interested. Oh, is it going? Nope. I don't think you can get to the the potting angle here. Could go two rails. I like going two rails here. Past the the six ball. Oh, maybe you can see enough of it not to scratch. He went for the bank. He's going for a trick shot, trying to bank across side off the point. mentioned earlier on Superman Roberto Gomez who Christina plays a lot with just recently she's learning a lot of him she told me we also have another Superman in Q Sports Brian Pauly of course who is a, an artistic Paul World champion he's also president. very good at trick shots yes he is isn't he he's president of the organisation very nice man as well I had the pleasure of meeting him on a few occasions. Very, very skillful player. Now, well worth checking out as well. The Artistic Pool World Championships. Also on the same Railbirds TV. You've got a lot of good content on there, Kevin. Well, thank you. Particularly the commentary. Most of the time, the commentary is really nice. Occasionally, we get this Mark White guy in there, though. <laughs> Very occasionally. <laughs> wow, well, that was a really, really tough shot. He was in a lot of trouble there. Did well to hit it, I'll tell you. So now we're going to see this stroke from Christina. Wondering, can she squeeze that cue ball behind the eight? Is it the eight or the, sorry, the four? Or is she just going to come twice across? Yeah, twice across, very nice. Struck that with a lot of confidence. Did it very well. Overdone it just a hair. Might be too much angle to hold for the four. I don't think the four goes in the side. Yeah, it doesn't look as if she's made her mind up, to be honest. She might have to zigzag this cue ball back and forth and play the four in the same pocket as the three. And that's what she's going for. You ball to slow down, or oh boy. 
I think this does go in the side, Kevin. I think it looks much better from this angle than it did from the other angle. And she hasn't got to do anything with a cue ball. Just a little bit of... Oh, is, she, is she playing it? Just playing safe. No. Not interested. Yeah. Why take any risks? She's got a good lead. She'd like to finish it with this rack. She's left a little temp, little temptation here for Jay. Just take a swing at this nine. He might. Nope, it's just going for the four. And is this going to end up safe? Yes, it is. Yeah, nice kick and stick though for Christina, left-handed as well, on the correct side of the table for her. And you see great technique. Oh, she could see the she edge of that. A little piece of it. That's a nice safety. Nice. Leave lots of distance. He went all out on that one trying to make something happen. He wasn't kicking safe. He's trying to make something happen. I mentioned before, going out in a blaze of glory. Great song by John, John Bon Jovi. Do you remember him? Of course. Oh, actually, he has a, a soup kitchen now that he runs for homeless people. What a nice guy he is. There was a little video on YouTube with John Bon Jovi dressed up in a disguise and was uh, at a karaoke bar and uh, kind of surprising people with, with Bon Jovi karaoke songs. I Lots love of those kind of... Lots of fun. You get a lot of soccer players and footballers doing the same thing, you know, dressed up as an old man or something. They go <laughs> and just join in a random game of soccer somewhere <laughs> with all the skills. <laughs> and there was one with uh, Adele too. And I think it was, was it, was it on the Graham Norton show? I don't remember if it was, and maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Adele did something similar as well. Meanwhile, Jay got a tough shot on this five. Gonna stay, is it gonna end up safe? Safe behind the six? It is. He's not over yet. And as I said earlier, no jump cues allowed. Although in this case, a jump might be ill-advised if you try to pot, if you try to put the five in the side deck, you will be going right to that corner pocket. Yeah, you're right. Difficult jump. I'm sure if short sticks were allowed, she'd have gone for it. Very, very good with the jump cue is Christina. In today's nine ball game, As I think, most of the players uh, these days you, are. I think the, you have to be. Yeah, the equipment now as well has made it so much easier. Oh, she wasn't a million miles away from making that, you know. She was she was going for it. She, she was trying to make that ball on the side. She was going for it. Ball in hand for Jay. 
pretty wide open layout. Six of the sevens is really the only sticky part. I like drawing back a couple, you know, foot or more. So you can shoot the six in the corner with uh, the bottom left and come two, three rails around for the seven in the bottom right. a nice shot got some great action on the cue ball there and thoroughly deserved nicely on this seven ball as well yeah got a nice result Probably the there nicest stroke a real nice result there come around two more rails straight at the eight Jay's not giving up. He's not going anywhere just yet. I wonder if his percentage will change if he makes this eight and the nine. It might go up a few percent, maybe to three. Nicely done, very confidently played. With authority, didn't want it to oh, roll off. Foul. He seems that's to be enjoying illegal, himself. Illegal practice. That's a foul. <laughs> no panic at the moment, though, for Christina. Still needs just the one. I think it's unlikely that Jay's going to win the next five. Yeah, Christina's played just a she good, solid nice. game. Yeah, even if it doesn't happen this one, she'll be breaking the next rack. Uh, this is uh, this is winter break. It's not alternate break. Oh, it's winter break, is it? Oh, sorry. Alternate break is so popular. It's almost it's almost the the rule now everywhere is alternate break. It's winter break tournaments are uh they're pretty rare nowadays. Well, I've got to admit I prefer alternate break. I think especially with this new break format, I don't think you're gonna get anyone running <coughs> eight packs and it and, and or nine packs and it and it you know, it makes it makes for a fairer, you know, judgment of who is the better player. I think breaking is a big part. It's a big skill, and it should be shared. Just my worthless opinion, of course. Well, it's dry. Does this one pass the two? I think the ball's threatening pockets there, but nothing going in. We play the one two. Take a big chance if we try that though. This one ball getting tied up with the four ball. She doesn't want any part of it, just playing safe. That's why she's they're playing and I'm sat watching. I'm going to be playing later on today though, Kevin. I've got a, a nine ball tournament this afternoon. It's a tournament every day here if you want one. Sounds like it. You've been telling me about tournaments. You've been telling me about tournaments every day. So it sounds like they do have a lot of tournaments there.
And then we have eight ball, nine ball and ten ball. Two different places. I think there's only one day off. Free swing at this one ball. Oh, couldn't see it. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. If she could get through to that, I like having a go at that. There's a chance of getting, you know, she's quite an attacking player and, and you could become a little bit too defensive. That's the second shot she's refused. If she could get through to it, of course. I don't think she could. I think that was all of the one that she could see. Okay. Nice oh, shot. I'm I don't think he meant that left hand English though on the cue ball. Is he okay? I don't think so. I think he's hooked. He's going for a bit of a swerve here, a bend around. All right, he's made a good hit. He got a rail. He's left. Squadoosh or Christina. Is that is that another word for diddly squat? <laughs> Indeed it is. Can she get to any of this or not? I don't think she can, can she? Going off the rail. Looks a bit wide. Kicking it soft. Going for the kick save. Ooh, almost got nestled in there behind that five. That would have been very mean indeed if she did. It was well judged, wasn't it? Almost, as you say, got there. Yeah, no real value in taking this on. Can he dig down on it? Well, he is. He's going for this. Watch that nine ball as well. Well, he went playing it in the side. Well, there's a result. Looks like he's left it safe. Just that gone was... a little bit messy now. That was a two-way shot. If he misses, he figures to be safe behind the six. Good hit, but that's going to leave a it's going to leave a nice shot for Jay. But I think he's got to just slow roll this. If he shoots this with any speed, he takes the risk of getting hooked behind the six or nine. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is the ideal time to play one of them drag shots I was talking about earlier on, you know. His, cue, his head's a little bit close to the cue ball to do that, though, so he's slow rolling it. Yeah, don't like that. time judge nicely now, which one's the four ball is it the one up by that top rail Kelly yeah yeah the four ball is the one that's uh, farthest away from the three yeah needs a big shot here got a slight angle she's trying to come up past the the other side between the rail and the nine and the six here now she's coming back the other way yeah, that was the problem, wasn't it? <clears throat> a 
she's gone off the boil a little bit struggling to get over the line here although she won't be panicking just yet she would like to put this one to bed as quick as she can doesn't want to come off the back of this oh good effort Ooh, I was about to say if she, even if she kicks it in how's she going to get to the five alright good chance for Jay pretty natural to go two rails around for the five just to drop right in nicely done love the way he played that little bit firm story of the match hasn't it really his controlling of the cue ball has the part of the game which has let him down most I would think it's fair to say yeah his shot making seems fine it's the uh, controlling of the cue ball is is what he's been struggling with I agree with that yeah, I don't think this is anywhere near it does look long no it's very oh. long Second chance. More chance. Second time. Second time around. <laughs> oh. So a chance then to get over the line. Four balls away from winning the match, starting with ball in hand. Not looking good for Jay. Yep. Put up a good fight, Jay. Mentioned karaoke earlier. What I've just seen. Rather large lady warming up her voice. <laughs> and she In has goes. <laughs> Christina Sativa defeating Jay Harris. 9-4. to four. Jay had zero losses before this so he can still rebuy and he will still be in this tournament christina had one loss and still has one loss and also advances thank you guys for uh tuning in and thank you mark for sitting in with me so guys be sure to check out some of our other matches com coming from the derby city classic all right we'll catch you next time see you guys <laughs>